Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Well, well, the code violation against Serena Williams' coach in the U.S. Open final has reignited the whole coaching debate. The WTA already permits on-court coaching, but the question is, should tennis permit coaching from the stands? Today, we're going to argue both sides of that issue. First, three reasons we do not support coaching from the stands. It simply dumbs down the game. Tennis is one of the few sports where the athlete is both the player and the coach. To be a champion, players have to overcome both physical and mental challenges. By allowing coaching, tennis reduces players into hitters and not thinkers. The mental game is just as important as a big serve or an accurate return. Adding coaching reduces the value of the mental game. Wimbledon Chief Executive Richard Lewis told ESPN that tennis is a sport for gladiators, an individual sport. You go on the court and the whole premise of tennis is that you're on your own. This is one of the beauties of tennis compared to most other sports, if not every sport. Number two, coaching is unfair because it exploits an economic edge. Think about that. Paying a coach's salary and travel cost is an expensive venture. So lower ranked players just launching their careers often don't have the resources to pay a coach to travel around the world for even a month at a time, let alone a full season. Whereas superstar players can afford an entire team of coaches and physios. So allowing coaching will unfairly benefit higher ranked players who can afford to pay the coaches. It would hurt lower ranked players who can't and it would further widen the gap between the haves and the have nots. And that's not really fair, is it? And number three, allowing coaches betrays tennis's core values. Tennis teaches us much more than just forehands and backhands. No matter what level we play, tennis teaches us vital values that we can use in life. Independent thinking, problem solving, decision making, performing under pressure, integrity, courage. These are all virtues that tennis players of all levels can develop. Adding coaching diminishes these life skills that the sport can teach us, and it causes some players to look to the coach to solve their problems rather than looking within themselves. Patrick Moratoglo, Serena Williams' coach, who was hit with that coaching violation in the U.S. Open final, told Tennis Now that he views on-court coaching as having a positive short-term effect but a negative long-term effect on the sports in that players can rely on the coach as a crutch to provide solutions when the going gets tough. All right, now we're gonna look at the opposite side of the issue. We're gonna give you three reasons we support a rule change to allow coaching from the stands. First of all, more coaching means better quality tennis. We all wanna see exciting and very competitive matches, don't we? Well, tennis is all about adjustments. Allowing coaching can help players make the right adjustments to create a more competitive match. Think about Rafa Nadal, who supports the use of coaching. He says that during the U.S. Open, it's a little bit stupid that coaches can't coach from the crowd. He says you have a coach traveling with you for a reason. He's with you during the whole season and practicing with you every day. He says it's just stupid that in the most important moment, he can't tell you anything. In Rafa's opinion, it would be a good thing for coaching from the stands. Number two. Coaching from the stands has happened throughout the history of tennis, still happens today. Let's just be honest about it. Coaching from the stands goes on all the time. Stop the charade and selective enforcement and just legalize it since it's impossible to police it. In a recent column she wrote for the Washington Post, Hall of Famer Billie Jean King strongly advocates for coaching from the stands. She says that every player still has to execute on every point and she should never be held responsible for the actions of a coach. Coaching happens all the time, at every level of tennis, so why not just allow it? Well, current rules and technology support it. The WTA Tour already allows on-court coaching. So, for consistency's sake, coaching from the stands at all tour events, even the Grand Slams, should be permitted. Furthermore, we have seen tennis make great technological improvements. Think about Hawkeye line calling and the serve clock. Why not apply technology to coaching? Let the players text or call their coaches on changeovers or fit coaches with headsets like the NFL coaches wear on the sidelines and allow them to talk to players during changeovers. 
It's absolutely absurd that fans watching on TV at home have more access to stats, patterns, and insight that can change a match than the player actually playing in the match has. Imagine a future where a player can look at their Apple Watch for direct tactical advice from their coach before a key game or point. Technology exists right now to improve coaching and, consequently, the quality of play. WTA CEO Steve Simon has already said he supports more coaching, so why don't we start by letting coaches coach from the stand? All right, you have heard both sides of our argument on this issue. Now it's up to you. Should tennis allow coaching from the stands? Where are you on this issue? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you next time. <music>